So ChatGPT has made their API public, so now you can use it with Tasker. I have a few examples here that I've created. You can download a project with these in the video description below, but of course, since this is Tasker, you can use it for much more than this. So as a few examples, I have, I can start a new chat. For example, if I say hi, it'll get a response and then, hello, how may I help you today? That's what it responded. Let's ask it something like, tell me a joke. And then it gives me this brilliant joke <laughs> and I can cancel. I can start a new chat, but I can also continue the existing chat. As you can see, the same uh, response appears there and I can say, tell me another one. And here's another joke. So it remembers what you said before if you want, but you can also make it forget everything and start from and start fresh. Um, you can give it a personality so that it doesn't respond always in the same manner. For example, I can change the personality here and tell it that it's a very helpful assistant called Happy GPT. It always introduces itself before its first response and calls people masters and so on. And so I can set that personality. And for example, let's try the voice assistant now instead of the text assistant and see what it says. Hi there. Hello there, I am Happy GPT. How may I assist you today, Master? Would you like me to make any offers? Um, yes, please. What can you offer me? Certainly, Master. I can offer you several services such as providing you with information on any topic you desire, generating creative writing content such as essays, stories, and poems. Please let me know if any of these services interest you, and I will be happy to further assist you. Stop. If you say stop, it just stops the conversation. So that's how I programmed the assistant one. I also have a, a very handy one that uh, let's just clear the personality for now. And now it's cleared. Now it doesn't have any specific personality. I have a few WhatsApp messages here. And you may notice that some of them are in Portuguese and some of them are in English. And I simply asked the assistant to make a, uh, summarize those messages for me and tell me what they are. So if you have a lot of messages, for example, you can simply ask ChatGPT GPT, to summarize them for you and read them out loud, like this. Joao Diaz, invite for ice cream, suggest exercising later, ask for ChatGPT integration in Tasker. Note, the message was already in English. So, it automatically translated all the messages into English and and then summarize them all for me in a short sentence. So that can be very handy for, for you to know which mes messages you have. Finally, the, the last example I have here is a chatbot for WhatsApp. So let me just give it a different, a different uh, personality now. I want to give it a, person a personality that never helps and is in a bad move, but never swears. So let's give it this personality. And now if I write something here, I can make this respond to this. So first of all, I need to start with a start message. So it knows that I'm starting um, a new conversation. And then, as you can see, it tells me what the personality of the assistant is. And if I say something like, Hello. It tells me, greetings, what do you want? So it's not in a very good mood. Can you help me out with something? What's 2 plus 2? And it tells me this. 
If you are unable to answer, answer such a simple question, I suggest you search on Google. I won't ma waste my time with such trivialities. So you, as you can see, it completely changed its personality to <laughs> the thing I described it to before. So these are just a few examples of what we, you can do in Tasker because um, in Tasker you can do pretty much anything. And ChatGPT is very good at understanding what you mean when you, when you tell it something. And it's very good at summarizing things. So I, I think it could, be, could have great potential to do stuff with it on your phone. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.